a people injured here, theory three, Fend Unlock Blue Team. Commander Vindo is a Chaos Sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control alongside Schmooze Criminal as a mech boy, a teleporting hero fighting in ranged combat with a bunch of orky gadgets. Looks like the Freebooters DLC here. Rounding off the team, this fella translates as unexpected or something like that with a Hive Tyrant, a durable hero walking through objects and can't be suppressed with powerful offense, disruption and support begins in melee with a basic synapse. I shall call you Eduardo. And the red team, it's Space Marines all the way down the Emperor's finest in here. The Fourth Knight as a tech marine starts off in ranged combat, can get a melee loadout, supports with structures and repairs. Alongside Brown Bear 827 as an apothecary, support hero fighting in melee combat by default, begins with a heal, a passive health regeneration aura, and rounding off the teams, Debugger as a force commander, very strong offense, versatile marine from the front lines, can tank, disrupt and support. Kicking off in the mid is it? No. Tech Marine chasing off some Orcs as a war banner already up towards the southeast though. The Hive Tyrant making a push alongside Triple Hormigaunts here. Scout shotguns need to make an appearance quickly. There we go. Brown Bear's got the idea. Debugger, still no shotguns coming in here. More scouts though. So maybe we'll see double the shotguns is the plan. Yep, shotguns coming in now for Debugger. Bunch of Hormigaunts run now. Push them back. Did they open up a cap here? No, they didn't. The Force Commander's found these other Hormigaunts. And he's bolt pistoling and chainsawing them down. Back towards the mid. It's red for the Space Marines. Apothecary capping the wreck point. That's here. Mech Boy trying to trade shots, but he's going to get shotgunned in a second. There it is. Knocks him out of cover. Doom bolts, though. Decent hit on the tax. So wasn't a fully flush hit, but a decent hit. CSM get their eternal war to shoot down those scouts nice and quick and heretics making their way in. What are they going to go for here? I guess they're just chasing things off. Sluggers piling through as well. Double sluggers for Schmooze Criminal. Warrior Brood on the way for Unexpected. Nothing up else, nothing else up yet for Vindo. It's a good push though. Got the Tech Marine running. Mastercrafted Bolter on the way though in his hands actually now. And attack drop a model. Can they drop two? Can the sluggers get it? Oh, maybe they could have if they carried on, you know. There may have been one more melee attack going in there. As it stands, they want to try and burn down the gens and bolt a fire. Persuades them otherwise. Meanwhile, the double scouts of the Booger. Both with shotguns. One of them has a sergeant as well. It's not easy to approach that. If they focus fire the hive tyrant, he'll take a bunch of damage. Force commanders there to battle cry and buff their damage too. Barb Strangler could shut them down quite hard though. All my gods need to be spread out so they don't all get shotgun blasted. Back towards the mid, we've got some Kraken Bolts. 20% more damage to heavy infantry such as those Chaos Space Marines and the Warrior Brood over here. There's the shotgun blast. Eduardo the Hive Tyrant doesn't care about that, doesn't get knocked back, doesn't get suppressed. Grenade on the mech boy's face, he's got his death gun. Set up weapon with a limited firing arc that can suppress infantry and he can teleport while it's set up, which is a big deal if you plan your movements well. High powered shot goes in. Big burst of damage and suppression on those Hormagons there. Useful to use on the Hive Tyrant too, just for that big burst of damage, I think. And we have Devastators with advanced targeting. 474 to 484 early on. Nobody can control the mid for long, which is expected. Mech Boy needs to leave. There's a lot of Marines bearing down on him there. And he saw as he teleported in the opposite direction, he was left facing the wrong way. If you're able to teleport, teleport forward, he can stay set up and stay shooting things. But that's not always possible, of course. 460 to 484. That was Purification Vials chucked in there. That's in response to those double sluggers mainly. Oh, I guess the triple Hormagaunts as well. Double CSM for Commander Vindo. No eternal war for these fellas, though. Gotta earn that. Doom bolts went in. Maybe hit those scouts a bit. But the carry's really low here. Needs to back off, I feel like. Not backing off. Taking shots. That was a needless retreat. Could have backed off with bolt pistol shots. Stayed in support. Trucked out some heals, maybe. Oh, hey. Branch of the turret up in the mid. 
Now they can get around it as you can see, but it will suppress and damage infantry quite well in the firing arc. And the Devastator covers the other approach over here for Default Knight. Tier 2 for Vindo, Tier 2 for Brown Bear who had double, who's got double tax in play. Fast capping tax on the VP, meanwhile, the is doing a good job pressuring this side with those double scouts. Tax trying to get some shots in, maybe they should just pile into melee here, the tax trying to anticipate the Hormagaunts retreating. But they do make decent melee damage. Scout trying to stay in play, trying to manage these Hormagaunts. Taking a lot of damage doing it though. Those guys almost went down, they're being chased. I think they're going to be okay. Attacks flee. There's the Force Commander. He's also fleeing. Attacks, did they drop a model? No, they're alright. Follows through though, does unexpected, is now on the pal with Barb Strangler Warrior Brew coming in, and of course, Eduardo, the Hive Tyrant, who's got a little bit of XP. Something died. I guess a scout died at some point. Mech Boy teleports to the mid and sets up his death gun. Oh, and the, the turret gets burned down by Slugger Boys. There we go. Did it do its worth? Probably not. I mean, the Fault Knight wasn't even here to protect it. Brown Bear was. Oh, Brown Bear rotated towards the north on this natural VP of the blue team. Commander Vindo runs, and Noise Marines coming up. Tier 2 for all of the Space Marine players. Tier 2 also for Unexpected. Commander Windows there already because the Noise Marines up. Oh! Just wiped some Shooter Boys there with a high power shot, I think. But they just stood there getting shot at. I'm not sure what happened to those fellas. Mech Boys now caught in melee. And Sluggers approaching. Can they brute force their way into these Devastators? They can. They had activated the... Uh, Vengeance rounds there, so they weren't suppressing the sluggers, and down they go. A good call from Schmooze to keep on in that push. Another player may have retreated, seeing the Devastators and the attacks right there. Some Zinchian worship. We got Grenade Launcher Heretics and a, oh, a Dreadnought on the way for Brown Bear. Maybe keep that in melee for now because of the double sluggers, but it may transition to... Uh, assault cannon later for some good old barrages I don't think you should purchase that immediately though try and get something else on the field maybe a librarian force barriers great in the mid here and also support any devastators that pop up later stone guard veterans dropped in by default knight switching to vengeance rounds to shoot down the gens these guys are first company marines that can swap their ammo to combat all targets very effective squad Force Commander's got a Thunder Hammer with a Tyrant Guard on the field for the Hive Tyrant. Called in from the Global Bar, maybe. Double Sluggers on the Rampage. I don't see... Oh, we do have Knob Leaders queued up for Tier 2. Makes them way more dangerous for 25 power. 390 to 484. Hive Tyrant throws up invulnerability. Also gives him a, bun a bunch of hit points and health regen passively, which is nice for him. Here come more Stone Guard, I guess. This time for the Booger. They can switch to uh, Vengeance Rounds to shoot this Tyrant Guard. Tyrant Guard has super heavy infantry armor. They're using their Kraken Bolts for now. They, sh they need to switch to Vengeance. These guys using Hellfire against the Hormagaunts. They still haven't switched. Crack on bolts is for heavy infantry and heroes. Tech Marines here, gonna get Artificer up. Expected, sig expected Signum to a mark target that current guard. There we go, now they switch to Vengeance Rounds. Hormagaunt's wiping. Down to a single Hormagaunt brood now is unexpected. Force Commander teleporting around. Gets weird boyed though. Got his bigger brains. More health and over there when he can chuck orcs into, usually into a bunch of trouble. But sometimes he makes it work. Weird boy. Foot of orc, nicely timed after his attack there. Gets some good hits and some stuns and he runs away. Runs away all these space marines. Oh, Sternguard stay in. Sternguard tough it out. 
shooting down gens now with the Avengers rounds. Can they get a full bash? Sluggers got, have got their knob leaders. Meanwhile, this got decapped by something. Apothecary is level 2 now. Are those tacks running straight to the VP? No, they want to grab the wreck points. More Hormagaunts for Unexpected. Do you guys have Blastmaster? No, they don't. Still with a Sonic Blaster, these fellas. Trying to bash the node and steal it, maybe. Down goes the drop pod. 346 to 484. Brown Bear having a go. The Booger's here, too. It's going to be a 2v2 fight. That missile launcher, I think, got a direct hit on the mech boy there. They have double missile launchers, by the way. Plasma is much more effective at shooting the um, Tyrant Guard, but he may have he may be having one eye towards Khan effects and stuff later. But he's also got to think about knob spots later. Maybe double plasma is the way to go. See how it shakes out. Oops. Sluggers are in. And sluggers are out. They can fully bash this power now. The Dreadnought did indeed get an Assault Cannon. And now we have a Melter Gun Tech Marine. Very quick power bash. Mid is turning blue, but I don't think they'll be too bothered about that. Stern Guard switching to Kraken Bolts there. Effective against these heavy infantry Chaos Space Marines who have Mark of Zinch. Talk about effective versus heavy infantry. What are the noise Marines doing? Oh. Shaking apart these generators with their sonic blasters. So they're going to be flanked a lot here. A hell of a lot. I don't think you needed to teleport them on, teleport on them there, buddy. But uh, they certainly got, they certainly got the idea and ran off. Doom bolts, big miss. Vindo needs to be careful not to take too much damage here. CSM dropping one model. That's not too bad. Got to try and do like a fighting retreat, frustrating your opponent and not losing too much. Heretics almost wiped. Dark Flames was a bit too far back there. Now retreats out. No Walker yet for the Sorcerer. A big uh, Chains of Torment would have been good there. Hive Tyrant, though, has Crushing Claws and takes down the Apothecary. Tyrion is through the mid with Orky allies. Tech Marine levels to three. Are they going to burn down the Genesis? No, they just want to fight stuff. They wanted to kill those Marines and they got away with like 26 hit points or something. Maybe even lower than that at one point. You guys just leaving now? I think they're just leaving now. 305 to 484. Schmooze Criminal has tank busters to try and shoot down that Dreadnought. Anything else? I guess the, the Tyrant Guard and the Hive Tyrant can threaten that Dreadnought as well. Won't have any melee resistance with this Assault Cannon. Does level to two though. He's doing well. And a well-timed Assault Mirage can just win you a win you an engagement. So can teleporting it into the back lines with a thunder hammer. Knocks over the noise rings, but allows them to set up again. Oh, the weird boy threw them away. Now a warp vomits. Only stuns the force commander though. I guess they helped those guys get away. Space Marines looking strong. And they're hitting tier threes. Debugger and Brown Bear into tier three. Vindo already there. Another turret come into play from Default Knight. And why not? That's what the Tech Marine does. Let him do it. You get a level yet, Mr. Mr. Tyrant Guard? Not quite. Hive Tyrant is level two. With that bonded exoskeleton. Mech Boy's got his custom force field. Knock back nearby units. And, uh,. I can't remember how much the resistance is, but it's quite high against ranged attacks. 276 to 484 on the VPs. Good shots on a barbed strangler there. Keeping those tactical marines controlled. Some buffs for those tank busters. More Daka. Usually it means you attack faster than the tank busters. They just get more damage, I believe. Oh, look at that. Barrage takes out the Whirlwind. More Stern Guard. More Stern Guard. Brown Bear now has them. They all have their Stern Guard veterans. They are limited to one. Force Commander in the back lines. Up to no good. 
four up to quite a lot of good, maybe. Since this is a bit of a disorder team here. Gets the special from the battle cry, teleports out, and lives. Can they approach this dreadnought? They need to spread out. Getting close to level three, this fella. Oh, tank busters were taken out. Have been replaced, though. Last master can maybe set up in the mid with a little bit of peace. Electro shot grubs, and now the dreadnought is massively threatened. The tyrant guard and the hive tyrant going into melee, and they are ripping it apart. It's going to go down. Down it goes. Didn't even need the tank busters that were back there. Electro shot grubs and a bunch of scary melee was it. Tank busters take out the turret. Got some Zinch in worship, but those Marco Zinch CSM could open up on enemy marines. Or they're opening up on the apothecary who goes down. I think heretics may be wiped there as well. Sorcerer. Tome of Subjugation. Subjugates. Oh, subjugates the marines that have the uh, missile launcher. I think they should have subjugated the stone guard maybe. Devastators are chased off by sluggers, but these sluggers are in a dicey spot now. Stone Guard switching probably to Hellfire. Yep, oh, they almost died. Almost went down to the Blastmaster shot, but they make it out. 127, 484, huge VP lead for the Space Marines. Apothecary's still down here. Unexpected now has a Neuro Throat, which is a really good pick against these blobs of Marines that they're fighting. And a Chaos Predator on the way for Bindo. Another Whirlwind up for Default Knight. I mean, the tank busters are still there, and now sluggers are on it. Artillery vehicle, that's good for disruption, but it's not good. And there's tank busters around. Goes down immediately. Land Red Redeemer now coming up for Brown Bear. The red team are starting to take losses. Kind of, kind of sloppy losses here and there. That kind of stuff can add up. But uh, who cares when there's a Land Raider on the way. Force Commander falls over. Did some decent work holding up the cap there. Brown Bear. Calling that is going for the revive, I think. Paroxysm thrown in by the Neuro Throat. That's an area of effect debuff and percentage damage over time. It also slows you down as the, the debuff. Very effective against heavy and super heavy because it's psychic damage type, which does extra. Run of formation is pretty good. Pretty good. Sends a bunch of stuff running. Global nuke from the Tyranids and blue team can stabilize the mid with a blast master double mark of Zinch CSM. Where's that tank? Here it is. No mark on it yet. And the tyrant guard is still around. Who's this? Some stone guard? Stone guard fast capping that node. I'd have to deal with the neurothrope now. So the Neurothrope doesn't naturally regenerate energy. You need to use its abilities to do that. Such as Absorb Life and the Spirit Leech. And Spirit Leech will drain energy from something that doesn't have energy, such as the Stone God. It does work. Now's a Cataclysm to knock those guys over. 114 to 449 on the VPs. Land Radar Redeemer on the way for Debugger now. Brown Bears is up and in the mid. Powerful support vehicle for the Space Marines. This is their super unit. They can retreat back to it, reinforce, get some healing, and it's got a bunch of guns. However, tank busters are in play, and there's possible rocks and things, and maybe knob squads. But uh, Smooth Criminal's gone to flash kits here. There's a paroxysm, there's blast, uh, sorry, tank busters getting some decent shots. Hive Tyrant wants to get his cr crushing claws onto it too. Goes for the Tech Marine, no runs away. Well, they uh, they pushed them back again. Land Red has soaked up a lot of damage though, which is useful in its own way. It means that damage isn't going elsewhere, it does weaken your Land Raider, of course. It needs to turn around so it can shoot its guns. It doesn't have weak rear armor, but you need it facing forward so it can shoot. There we go. A rocks. Get some decent hits. There's the other Land Raider. 
That tank may get Marco Zinch to help here. What happened to the tank buses? I guess they retreated off. There's Paroxysm again. Doesn't do anything against the Land Raiders, but very effective against these Marines. They're still pushing. Last Master trying to get shots in. We have a Mark of Noble tank. Okay, so it can't be Mark of Zinch now. Warbottle. Warbottle doesn't quite catch those CSM. Does catch the Noise Marines. But overall, overall, I mean, it forced the retreat, I guess. But wasn't a very damaging nuke. But the carry's going to get revived. Oh, Force Commander's down too. Maybe Larimer's Blessing would have been good, but he's got no red. Where's his red gone? Maybe there was an Angels of Death in there somewhere. They are both going to get revived, though. The Space Marine players are on the back foot. They really need their heroes to pull their weight now, especially that Apothecary. I think it's worth getting this guy the customized Storm Bolter, allowing him to sit back with um, Arm of the Apothecary, maybe. He's going into melee again. That guy needs to stay alive and keep this health regen going and throwing out heals. That foot of Gork on the stone guard, maybe. Tax going for the cap. Where is the apothecary? Oh, he's there. They are going to get the tyrant guard down. Melter gun helping out there, but they can't get the cap. Orcs now piling through. Double mark with Zinc CSM targeting that apothecary. No, they're targeting the force commander. Who runs back for the land raider. Slug is in there. Using their swampum to close the distance. Soaking up damage. Oh, Imperial Abyss. Takes out the, is that the third whirlwind? I think it is. Goes down to the to the abyss from Commander Vindo. Fine effects on the way. Is it time to get the chainsaw and storm shield? You're up against flash kits and those double marker zinc CSM. I think it would be really useful because it's going to be it's going to be difficult for him to survive in there. Oh hey, a lictor up for unexpected. What's Rodrigo up to? Rodrigo now has the psychic scream. Eduardo. Did I call him Eduardo? I think it's Eduardo. Getting him confused with one of his brothers. Terminators are in play. But uh, is it a good choice? Tome of Subjugation is already up. There's already a Neurothrope as well. I guess it's hard to resist the Terminators and Land Raider combo. Well, this one's in big trouble. Eduardo's after it. Almost got it. Now he's Eduardo if he was on before. There's the Chains of Torment. And these guys are taking double Mark of Zinch fire. That was a lot of damage. Apothecary throws the heal, but needs to be needs to be uh needs to play defensive here, I think. He's being super aggressive. Runs away, runs back to the land right land raider. Maybe that's why he's being aggressive. Because he knows there's a Land Raider there. But that Land Raider is under pressure. Venom Cannon Carnifex doing work. Another Paroxysm thrown in. VP stays blue. They're down to 96 VPs though. Space Marines need to rotate and pressure the natural a bit here. Gluting doing an amazing job against double Land Raiders. Not only are they stabilizing somewhat here in the mid but they're also pressuring the land raiders at the same time they're doing a great job mech boy's down level eight because looks like he's got his uh beamy death gun he could be really useful if he was alive but smooth criminal wants more flash kits debugger wants the laraman's blessing and there it is reviving all the heroes well two of the heroes that were down and you want, you need your heroes up. Having two heroes down is a big deal. Hive Tyrant throws up invulnerability to get the revive here. Now that beamy death gun's back on the field. Needs to teleport back, but I think it's going to try and keep him in play. Repairs for the land raiders, but it's slow going. Tech Marine may need to help or maybe throw up Blessing of the Omnissiah. Maybe it's been used a bunch already because it doesn't have much red. Predator tank on the way. Good against the flash kits. Good against the Marcos Zinch fellas too. I think it's a solid pick. Need to use it well though, of course. And I think this guy should get Chainsword and Storm Shield. It may just feel weird going from Thunder Hammer to Storm Shield, but I think it'd be great here. Pop the carry too. 
needs to get arm of Apothecarian or something. I'm sure he's just looking to get more units on the field though. Easy for me to say what he should get. Sluggers I think are going to wipe. Force Commander gets it done. 96 to 228 on the VPs. And the Force Commander make its presence known with that Thunder Hammer. He's level 5. He's done well so far. He can get in and disrupt these range blobs, but how long will he live for doing it? Level 5 Apothecary as well. Force Commander is going to revive the Tech Marine. Probably, yep. I don't think it leveled him, though. No, he's still level 5. Tech Marine runs. Does not run to a Land Raider, though. So... The Fault Knight has not set a Land Raider as a retreat point yet. Look at those Flash Gits just trying to delete the Stern Guard, and he almost did it. I'm not sure what those guys are doing. Trying to run into Decap, maybe? Both the Land Raiders up for now. Predator Tank has the extra armor in. The Fault Knight also has it, and is going for Laz Cannon here. I guess against the Carnifexes. Yeah, the double Khan effects with Venom Cannons do make those Predators nervous, I think. Got a decap over here, someone. Was it that fella? Was it the Fortnite, the Fortnite's Marine there? Sluggers are back on it. And what is this? Scouts doing some power bashing, why not? The map is actually looking quite red right now. Space Marines are like spread out and capped stuff. They need to push... I think you need to push the natural VP with a bit more stuff, maybe. I don't think you should take a land raider up there, though. Maybe they feel like they can't push it without a land raider. It's not going to be easy. 96 to 213. Blue team hanging on to a 2 to 1. There's an orbital. Can they pick up some flash kits or something? Schmooze operator. Oh, sorry, Schmooze criminal. Chuck stuff away from the scary beams from space using the Weird Boy and survives it quite well actually. Weird Boy did get hit. Land Raider pushes up and gets rocks and there's a Trina Formation and the Carnifex in there. I don't think it's going to survive. Down it goes. That was quick. And the tank is going to drop as well. Big losses. Big losses for the Booger. Didn't get the VP off that either. Still got Terminators. But is that is that recoverable? That's very difficult to recover from now. Still have a VP lead, but they are really up against it. Foot of Gork gets those guys off the decap. And yeah, Khan Effects is going to melee. They still do tons of heavy melee DPS, I think. 96 to 173 on the VPs. The remaining Land Raider pushes up way too far. Double Bioplasma messed it up. Way too far forward there. I mean, they're trying to be aggressive. They're trying to get onto the VP. But the second Land Raider falls. There's another one on the way for Brown Bear. But have they just lost too much now? They couldn't... They couldn't really make... Their heroes... Effective in the late game, I feel like the Space Marine players. Although we have a level 9 Tech Marine. Maybe he's done alright. Mechboy is level 10. Sorcerer level 5. Hive Tyrant level 8. Brother Carry and the Force Commander did, we did well early. But uh, maybe going for Banner and Storm Shield would have been better. Terminator's got subjugated but now they're back in the light of the Emperor. Oh, getting stunned by the Mega Rumbler. And getting shot at. Are they going to live? 96 to 133. Teleport. Okay, they made it. They made it. But I'm not sure the red team's going to make it. They are massively depleted now. Aren't giving up, though. The Fortnite with the Predator tank on the way. Oh my god, what a meat grinder. I think he meant to say. Oh, there we go. They have conceded. I mean, quite rightly. I don't think there was any coming back from that. Level 6 Chaos Sorcerer here. We had a level 10 Mech Boy, as we said. I have Tyrant level 8, level 9 Tech Marine, and level 5 for these two fellas. 
I don't think yeah, I don't think they could bring them to bear as much as they would like in the late game. Apothecary really struggled in combat without an armor upgrade or anything. I think he needed to be more support focused. But uh who am I to say? They gave it a good old go. Was close on the VPs. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see ya next time.